Gentleman from New York. Mr. Speaker, it gives me great pleasure to welcome my friend Rabbi Arthur Schneier of the Parkey Synagogue in New York City, who gave today's opening prayer. Rabbi Schneier's visit today is part of the commemoration of the 100th anniversary of his synagogue, which was founded in 1889. As Rabbi Schneier noted, today is also the 43rd anniversary of his arrival in the United States as a refugee from Europe. The Park East Synagogue is renowned for its contributions to Jewish life in New York City, as well as throughout the United States and abroad. The synagogue, its rabbi, and its congregation have contributed to interreligious harmony. The House will be in order. Gentlemen, proceed. And have been in the forefront of concern for Soviet and Eastern European Jewry and for the State of Israel. The Parkey Synagogue has benefited from the spiritual leadership of Rabbi Schneier for the past 28 years. Rabbi Schneier also leads the highly respected human rights organization, the Appeal of Conscience Foundation. This group of leaders from the Roman Catholic, Protestant, Greek Orthodox, Armenian Orthodox, and Jewish faiths has visited many countries, including the Soviet Union, Hungary, and China, in an effort to protest repression of religious activity. On behalf of all my colleagues, I wish to extend a warm welcome to Rabbi Schneier and those members of the Park East Synagogue who made the trip to Washington to witness this extraordinary occasion. I should also like to thank Rabbi Schneier for giving the prayer today and for his dedication to the worldwide Jewish community and to interreligious accord. The gentleman's time has expired. Mr. For Speaker. what purpose is a gentleman from Idaho seek recognition? Mr. Speaker, I have a unanimous consent motion. The gentleman will state his unanimous consent request. Mr. Speaker, I request unanimous consent that my name be withdrawn as a co-sponsor of H.R. 4641. Is there objection? The chair hears none. The gentleman's request Thank will be you, granted. Speaker. Gentlemen, for what purpose is a gentleman from Florida, Mr. Smith, seek recognition? Without objection, the gentleman is recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker, the real issue in our consideration of the Family and Medical Leave Act is in the bill's first word, family. This is a bill about giving American families a chance. A recent Gallup poll shows that four out of five Americans feel employees should be with their children during the first weeks of life and should be able to care for severely ill family members without risk of losing their jobs. Americans believe in family. This bill won't burden business. It responds to the legitimate concerns of employers by providing for only unpaid leave. In fact, the GAO estimated that the annual cost of this bill would average only $5.30 per employee. Additionally, this legislation will encourage employers to invest in an experienced, well-trained, high moral workforce. It seems that everyone these days is bemoaning the decline of the American family and the loss of an experienced, motivated American workforce. Well, Mr. Speaker, this bill encourages businesses to retain our most experienced workers, and most of all, this bill responds to the concerns of America's most important group, our families. Gentlemen, time is